I am your beloved Count Olaf. I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian, I'm whatever you want me to be. Uh, uh, you know, it all comes down to the same thing. You're in a loving place or you're in an unloving place. If you're with me right now, we cannot be unhappy. It's not possible. It's not possible. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. How do I know this? I don't, but I'm making sound, and that's the important thing. <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. Sometimes I think that's the only thing that's important, really. You know, it's just letting each other know we're here, you know? reminding each other that we're part of a larger self. In a sense, self examination is part of an essential part of growing and reaching some point beyond where you are. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that and it's an addiction. An addiction to trying to figure out, what, uh, and maybe this is an impossible uh, task, uh, but you know, everybody's looking for bliss, you know, in some way or another. And I, I think I've, you know, I've come to the realization lately that, uh, that, that bliss comes in waves and, there, and everybody gets a certain amount of it. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but in between, it, it, it's just it hard work yeah. being in this body. You know? And that it is the unwise person to expect bliss will be there all the absolutely. time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. As someone who's done what you're about to go and do, I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Because everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart and all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. My choosing to free people from concern got me to the top of a mountain. Look where I am. Look what I get to do. I did something that made people present their best selves to me wherever I go. The only one I hadn't freed was myself, and that's when my search for identity deepened. I wondered who I'd be without my fame. Who would I be if I said things that people didn't want to hear? Clap. <laughs> or if I defied their expectations of me? You know, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? You know, whatever. I just want to be myself. If I lose a few fringe people who can't deal with the fact that, uh, that you know, that there's other forces in the world, that's okay with me. After talking to you for a couple of hours, I mean, I just, I get the sense you are, you are a big bundle of conflicting emotions. Well, I think you're very emotional about a lot of things. It's all very close to the surface. Yeah, it is. I've decided to be there. I only act in the movies. I want to be the greatest actor that ever lived, frankly. You know, I'd love that. But I don't need to be. I, I just really want to be here. That's it. When the opportunity arises and I'm on the set. Can you cover the action? Can I'll be there tomorrow. Let's see what you I'm not going to live it Let's until I get there. Can you cover me? And when I get there, I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to walk in the set and I'm going to go, hey, humans, how you doing? You know? Let's, let's have fun. Stay right here, okay? Let's play in the sandbox. Woo you know, and a lot, of, a lot of the characters I've done so far have been about duality, about what you show the world and what you really are. And uh, so I've, I've always been trying to reconcile the two. <clears throat> I know that this face pleases you, yeah. you know, but now I'm going to show you the real deal. And I, I hope there's enough there that, you know, that you can identify with, that, uh, that we can sit together and break bread and, and you'll think I'm as special as I was before. A few months ago, I woke up and I understood suddenly how thought is responsible for most of the suffering we experience. I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? I was thrown into this expansive feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. Your job is not to figure out how it's gonna happen for you, but to open the door in your head. And when the door opens in real life, 
Just walk through it. And when I say life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, I really don't know if that's true. <laughs> I'm just making a conscious choice to perceive challenges as something beneficial so that I can deal with them in the most productive way. You'll come up with your own style. That's part of the fun. Oh, and uh, why not take a chance on faith as well? And what do you own now? What is it you own, you think? I think uh, I own my self-esteem. I owe, I own, uh, own my, uh, you know. I guess, you know, what I own, when you think about it, is, is my faith. Yeah. That's what I own. Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. Countries and religions and, uh, and I find it all so abstract. Why am I an American? Why am I Canadian? And by the way, you're a Catholic or you're a Jew or you're, you know, whatever you are. It's like everything is abstract structures. What is that? What does that mean? Somebody put a line down and said, this is that. You know, we're so much more. I've just given them up. I'm fine. Just floating through space, flying 6,000 miles an hour around the sun, you know, balancing on tectonic plates that are floating on lava, you know, ready for the end times to occur and whatever the hell is gonna happen. I'm just great. You're on a spiritual journey, period. And we're all gonna end up in the same place if there is such a thing. And maybe there isn't. Maybe there's just this and that's it. There's me in the teacup, that's it. There's us, we're the universe, man. I like that, that's fine. Now fear is going to be a player in your life, but you get to decide how much. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart.